My name is Jules Hetherington. I'm 19 years old. I'm studying at a university called Grenoble École de Management, mm -hmm. which is a basically a business school in uh, with different courses and stuff like that. So uh, where where did you come from, Jules? So I'm from the U.S. If mm -hmm. you can maybe hear the accent. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I did this first exchange year, I think senior year of high school. So mm -hmm. that was my first exchange year. And then I decided to actually fully move here for mm -hmm. my future studies. And I managed to join this university through this online platform here in France called Parcoursup, which mm -hmm. is kind of a niche part of it because only mainly French students can access to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But for high schoolers, they instantly get through with it. Okay, cool. So what was the reasons why you chose to study in French? As I said, there was this first exchange year that I chose to do. And that was yeah. basically just for, from opportunity wise, because I had my mother living here for her French art school. So I went here for as an occasion. So I was like, mm -hmm. right, this is an amazing opportunity. Let's go and do this. After a year of being here, I fell in love with this country. Mm -hmm. And so I just loved it. Had decided to stay even longer. And that, that was the main reason. The views, the people are nice here. It, it's just a great, great experience. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So did you study your program in English or is it in French? My program now in university is in English, fully English. And how's your French right now? My French is, it's all right. It's, it's getting good. It's getting better mm -hmm. after two years. Cool. Yeah. So uh, I'm also curious about when, like the first time you came there in France, uh, what was your experience back then? And did you notice any uh, differences maybe in terms of, I'm pretty sure there are differences. I mean, cultural differences, food, whatever, language. So how did you uh, deal with everything and what was your experience back then? So food wise, obviously here in France, we do eat very well. There, mm -hmm. There's a major difference with the U.S. I was, I was living in North Carolina at the time in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's very fast food, very lots of burgers, lots of meat. Yeah. Here people have smaller diets. They don't eat as much. I mean, I don't really need to eat that much, but still it's a, it's a little bit shocking at first food wise otherwise the culture is slightly different because in the US we have we're used to being able to say hello to anybody in the street so like if you're yeah. crossing somebody you'll be able to say hello how's it going to anybody mm -hmm. in the street yeah in France everybody is heads down walking straight not saying anything to anybody else so it is kind mm -hmm. of weird on that point but overall when you get to know people they they get really nice that's that's the only way that you can compare it to the US basically i think yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, definitely there are some differences to it and everything, but we kind of have to embrace it. Exactly. Right. So how was your uh, study experience there in France? Did you like it so far? And like, what was the differences that you think between the French education system and also the education system that you experienced in the U.S.? So I think my example of the school that I'm at right now, Grenoble École de Management, it's an international business school. So it's mm. based off of international programs and courses. But the thing is, it is somehow I discovered this, that it was actually run by the French administration. So a French mm -hmm. education system. So it's you kind of get this mix of a typical international school mm -hmm. in addition to a French school. So it's kind of this weird yeah, mix of two different schools. And so it's uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty particular, but it's very uh, open minded. I think in my class, we have 36 different nationalities, which is pretty impressive. Oh, oh yeah, it's it, it's so yeah, it's very very impressive when you get there. You, there's not one person that speaks the same language. It's all, it's pretty, pretty intense, but that, it was it's really fun, really fun. Mm -hmm. that, that was really cool. Did you happen to know where they all come from? So I know it's very Southeast Asia oriented. There's, there's a ton of French people too. I think the, ma the major part of culture here is French, French, French kids that are from Grenoble. They, uh, they're able to join the school instantly. Whereas international people were, we have to work a little bit harder to join the school, I guess. But yeah, so it's mainly French. I think there's a lot of Vietnamese, Indian people. Uh, I think we're two Americans and, uh, I can't really remember the rest, but mm -hmm. there, there's so many. I know that just in my friends, I think I must have 15 different nationalities now. Yeah. In my yeah, that's really cool, right? It's it's a very diverse yeah. uh, community, diverse uh, classmates and everything. Yeah, and I think that's for anybody. It's actually a big shock. Like I've I've lived in a lot of countries in my life. I lived mm -hmm. in Southeast Asia my, practically my whole life. Then coming here in France, then the U.S. Mm -hmm. And even so, all that this class is just it's like mind blowing. First day you get there, it's it's crazy. Cool. Uh, which part of Southeast Asia did you live before? I lived in Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar. Oh. That's yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty weird yeah. for an uh, American kid to live over there. But yeah, so it was, it was with my, my father. He uh, he worked at an organization called PSI. Mm -hmm. It's a, a nonprofit organization for the 
less wealthy in third world countries so mm -hmm. yeah but i think it gives you like a lot of uh experience right i mean cultural exposure yes. like international experiences and stuff yeah it, i think what i what i usually say to people is that it kind of normalized the fact of being with different people in my yeah. life like as an american you don't usually get used to um being around with multiple cultured people yeah but the thing is since i've lived there my whole life it's just like oh yeah of course these people are just my friends they're just everybody mm -hmm. yeah i think it is really beneficial especially because you know like as time goes by we have to deal with different kinds of people so it really gives you like all of this uh flexibility to be able to be friends with anyone 100 yeah right so uh after you know living abroad like moving from countries to countries and also studying there in france what do you think are the benefits of studying abroad that you've felt so far? Challenging yourself. Challenging yourself for sure. And in addition with challenging yourself, you're getting the same experience as I would have gotten living in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. It's just making your mind get used to being around different type of people, different cultures, different ways of interacting with people. Yeah. And so we have this we have this one class that we took um, first semester here in Zonab, and uh, it was called International Business Skills. And it was a point where we were able to understand how different people would interact with each other, how, how everything went by in different cultures. And I can definitely see that happening here in our class where it's just 36 different types of types yeah. of people. And it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely a good experience on that point of view. That's awesome. So do you encourage students to uh, study in France? Um, in France, I mean, I think on this point of view where, as I said, I'm in an international school. Yeah. I think when you're in the school, it would be the same as any other school that has mm. international students. Yeah. But the thing is, if you're not choosing for the school solely and you're choosing for the outside of school relationships mm. and interactions you're going to have, then France is definitely going to be challenging. It's definitely going to be hard mm. to get used to because it's it's like no other place and it's very hard to feel integrated at first. But if you do the effort to actually socialize and actually get used to people, then you'll be fine and it'll be amazing. Any tips for uh, future international students that are planning to study there? Do you have any tips on what they should be expecting or what they should prepare for the application and also when they uh, arrive and settle there? I definitely, there's definitely different ways of entering the school as from different types of um, schools that like if you're at a high school and you're trying to get mm -hmm. to be the international school, if you're from another international school trying to get yeah. into the international school, there's different ways of entering. And so I'm going to try and do it as globally as possible. But I know that when I tried to enter the school, the admission process was a interview with the teacher or whatever person from the administration in which you have to really just portray an open person because obviously you're going to be with a lot of different types of people be yourself be as nice as you can just anything that can portray a good image of yourself then on the more challenging point of view we did have these essays short essays to write sure. where basically they would restrain you on a tiny 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 little text so it was 500 words per essay which is very hard to do if you're trying to write something very nicely. I know that a lot of my friends who also tried to come into this school, they had just done this as if it was just a small text essay from school, from class, and it was just, mm -hmm. ah, let's just do this quickly and just get over with. I know I spent around probably 25 hours on them. I had my father who has an English diploma um, to read over it, over it, over it again. And yeah, it was just a lot of very hard effort to get this done. And so that obviously paid off because now I'm here. Mm -hmm. And then second of all, I also got apparently told that um, my profile that they selected for the school was actually top three of the entire school by doing that. Mm, so they definitely, awesome. I, I do believe they base themselves off of the test that you actually take to get into the school, whereas other French schools or more typical schools, they'll base themselves off of the grades you had before. Yeah. Whereas here, it's you're jumping from high school to university. And I think the, this Grenoble Code of Management is very open-minded and they know that whatever you're doing in high school is never going to be what you're doing in university. Yeah. And they basically give people a chance, I think. So it's very nice to hear about that and be able to be there with them. It's yeah. nice to hear uh, your tips. I think that is very, very useful, especially for those who will be studying in France or planning to. I think one final question for me is, uh, are there any opportunities for international students there in France apart from just studying? Like what about maybe internship or part-time job or any opportunities after graduation? If the students that you are targeting are trying to get into GEM here, that's how we call it actually, by the way. If they're trying to get into GEM, GEM has this... Um, mandatory factor of getting an internship mm. at every end of the year so first year we have an internship in may that we're going to have and we have basically five months in which we can plan our internship from may to september basically i think the minimum requirement is three months 
but you can also all the way go up, go all the way up to five months. And these internships are mandatory, so you cannot actually graduate if you didn't get these oh. these two internships. They definitely give you pressure on that that you have yeah. to get this internship. You have you spend like I know my friends since November they're still trying to get internships because uh -huh. it is hard. It's, you can get it definitely, but it is very hard to get them. I actually got lucky, and I know that my aunt has uh, works at this um, firm in. Uh, Belgium so I managed to get my internship over there already mm -hmm. which is pretty nice so yeah these internships they're mandatory and then on the second point of it throughout our three years of school here in the bachelors we have a minimum requirement of five months of abroad study mm, okay. abroad study being not in France it's kind of harsh for international students coming to France because technically yeah. they're already studying abroad mm -hmm. and then once you're here then you tell they tell you that oh you have to go away again oh, so, yeah <laughs> on that point it's kind of frustrating but it's the only way to get our diploma as an international diploma. That's the only factor. But we do get a lot of aid for these internships. We get a lot of help. We get a lot of people yeah. to talk to. For example, like me, now that I have my internship, I've been helping all of my friends to get theirs. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much what happens. Everybody helps each other. It's a, it's a big team, basically. Team mm -hmm. building is it's great. Yeah, very it's great. Yeah, it's a very supportive yeah. uh, environment as well. Oh, Obviously, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, apart from studying abroad and having like another yeah. international experience would definitely be beneficial for you anyway. For sure. It is frustrating, mm -hmm. but it is definitely a great experience. I bet. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure of it. I haven't been to Belgium yet, so it's going to be also another good experience. So yeah, hopefully. So it's been nice talking to you, Jules. Thank you for sharing your stories and your uh, tips and insights of studying in France. And also wishing you all the best for your studies and also your internship in Belgium. I hope everything goes well for you and also for your future. Thank you so much. I hope everything goes well for you too. And Thank good luck you. to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, Jules. Have you. a nice day. Bye. See you.